Welcome back, you beautiful people. You're thinking about getting into mountain biking. Yeah, maybe you've dusted off an old bike and you want to get into the fresh air and nature, or maybe you've watched some cool videos and now you're inspired. Ooh. Either way, you're not making a mistake of getting into riding, so here's how to do so and how to get started. Now, the best bike is the one that you've already got. Maybe it's got off-road tires, maybe suspension, um, some really good brakes and gears. That is the one to get started on and you'll be experiencing mountain biking right away. But what if you don't even have a mountain bike mount? Well, there's places like trail centers that have these higher systems that you can go there, get the bike fitted up for you. You can take it out into the woods, get the good taste for the love of riding dirt on a mountain bike and then think about spending the money. Yeah, absolutely. And those guys will be able to advise you on what bike you need to look at, suited to the trails that you've got around you or you're riding. But Hardtail is a good start, especially when it comes to price. Big fan of the Hardtail I am, big fan. Helmet and kit. Now for a start, before you even get onto your mountain bike or any bicycle, we highly recommend that you do wear a helmet. Now if you do have one in your purse, you gotta make sure it fits nice and snug. You don't wanna be too big or too tight because if it's too tight, you're gonna get a headache. If it's too big, it's not gonna protect your noggin when you fall off your bike. And also, you want the helmet to be an inch just above your eyebrow line. Yeah, absolutely. Helmet, definitely very important. Now, what about the clothing? Mm. Uh, you want to wear something waterproof, of course, but you want it to be breathable, maybe a synthetic material. Um, on the bottom half, you want to wear something like maybe a legging or a short, um, or maybe a slim fit jogging, something that doesn't get caught in the chain, basically. And then when you're going out for a ride, maybe wear layers because you don't want to be too hot at the start because you are going to warm up. So maybe start a little bit cool. Um, and what about feet, Blake? What do, you want your, what do you want your feet? Trainers, yes. You can ride in your normal sports trainers. They'll give you enough grip on your pedals when you're doing you know, the occasional ride in the woods, but when you start to venture off into the unknown and uh, start to uh, experience uh, more extreme terrain, then you start to think about getting a more specific mountain biking shoe. But trainers will do just fine when you start in. Yeah, and a little bit down the road, you'll start venturing into clip pedals. Ooh, that's in a whole new world. We'll leave that one. We're just getting started. Where to ride? Now, a trail center is the best place to start experiencing mountain biking for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. One, there's lots of uh, fun to be had in the cafe at the bottom. Um, there's people to help with safety issues whilst you're there, lots of riders to talk to, but also the trails are graded. So that means you can start at the easiest trails and progress and you'll know what you're gonna ride. You're not gonna suddenly drop into a trail that's way beyond your limits or maybe an unsanctioned trail where you shouldn't be riding. Ooh, yes. So they're very good for that. Yes, like Martin said, each trail is color coded. Now here in the UK, a green is like a family friendly kind of trail. It's wide berth and smooth. There's no steep descents, no steep ascents. It's pretty chilled and you can just take anyone on it. But when it starts to get a little bit gnarlier is when you get into a blue trail. Now this is kind of proper mountain biking. The trail gets a little bit narrower. There's gonna be some undulations, there's gonna be some rollers, some tabletops, things that you're gonna test your skills on. And then it gradually gets more and more. A red, which means there's gaps you need to clear. And a black, which we won't touch on just yet because you're not just there because they're on Ali. Yeah, very difficult. But yeah, expect some rocks and some roots on those blues, but start with a the green, they're super fun. I ride them all the time. What to take on your first ride, mine? Yes, well, I mean, you can take a great big bag full of loads of things that you think you'll need, like, oh, I don't know, like a buzzsaw, maybe? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. like a walkie-talkie. A walkie-talkie, that would be good, that'd because be you really can talk good. to your mates exactly. across the trails. That would be super fun. Tent. A tent, because it gets dark at night, Sleeping and you can bag. sleep in the tent. Maybe a bear alarm. Bear spray. Bear spray, that's actually a really good one. You. You, you we, know what, we, we digress. We digress. You don't need to pack a great big pack 
full of all these things. <laughs> um, you basically just need some essential items. Mm -hmm. and the first one I'd say you probably should have is a water bottle Ooh, and, yeah. and a way to attach it to your bike in a bottle cage, something like that, because you need to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. So that is an essential. Mm -hmm. And if you are thinking about getting hydration, you are probably thinking about going out for a little bit longer. So taking a calorie dense snack like a flapjack, something that's going to give you enough energy so if you start to bonk, which means you start to lose a lot of energy out on the trail, you can fuel yourself back up so you can get back to where you've come from. Yeah, bonking is no fun. Um, and the last thing you need is like a multi-tool, mm -hmm. maybe a small pump oh, yeah. and an inner tube. Mm -hmm. um, the pump and inner tube, you probably won't need one of those because if you're riding in greens or maybe even a blue, you're, you're, I don't want to say unlikely to get a puncture, but you're less likely mm -hmm. to get a puncture. Um, but they are good things to have, but if you're at a trail centre, you're in good proximity to basically all of the stuff that you've got there, like basically a shop, a mechanics, other riders. You could flag a rider down and ask for them to help you with a puncture, something like that. They're a very friendly bunch, man, in bikers. So I'd say these are the three essentials, water, nutrition, multi-tool. Tools, exactly. The rest of it, including the buzz store and the bear spray, optional. So there you go, there's our top tips for getting into mountain biking. I hope they've been helpful, but be warned, it's a slippery slope. Once you get into it, you'll get addicted. It's a slippery good slope to get into. Now also let us know in the community, in the comments down below, on other tips that could help fellow new mountain bikers get involved with this beautiful sport of ours. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you can love, like and share to get it out there to the masses. And let's get everyone out on their mountain bikes. Until next time, I'll say goodbye. See ya.